The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, the Money Masters. Good day, Money Masters and Treasure Hunters. Welcome to the June 4th, wonderful Wednesday edition of the Money Masters show. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. My outcome, my outcome as always, is to help you to become a better Money Master and to provide you with the tools that empower human potential because living up to our potential folks really when you think about it it's something that you and i we've got to master each and every day so let's begin our day let's begin our hump day day with empowering beliefs my favorite <clears throat> my favorite because it encapsulizes just about everything if ever there was a lesson that you could pass down to your uh, kids and grandkids it would be this and that is called become your own electrician, the electrician of your beliefs. And the reason is because beliefs, beliefs of the power to create and the power to destroy. Well, only you and I, we are the ones, we are the ones individually that have the extraordinary, incredible, awesome ability to take any experience of our lives and create a meaning that either disempowers us or empowers us. Folks, when it comes to trading and investing, it's the same thing out there. Always look at both sides of the trade. It's the way that it works in life for everything. And here's what I want you to think about. There's really only one thing you can control, and it's the meaning that we give to something. Somebody might say something to you, and you've got the choice to either interpret it as negatively or positively. Heck, go ahead and do both. But you decide what it is that you want to focus on, and that is the beauty of the markets that we trade. We've got bulls, we've got bears. The bulls right now say, hey, I think there's value in buying the ES Mini at 1916. And the bears, they say, I think there's value in selling it at 1924. It's really that simple. You see, one sees an event as a buying opportunity, the other a selling opportunity. And it's our beliefs, it's the meaning that we give to events that is all that we are in control of it is that meaning now that's pretty cool because when you take a look at when you're trying to get to more achieve more in life you have to realize it's really just your beliefs because what we can or cannot do what we consider possible or impossible it's really not a function of our capabilities it's more likely a function of our beliefs about who we are and that matters because when you all of a sudden get that what you realize is that all personal breakthroughs begin with a change in beliefs so the question really is, how the heck do we change our belief system? Especially one that's just simply been so routed out there. Maybe it's using some nice big wire gauge out there. Well, here's the deal. That's why you've got to become your own electrician. And the easiest way is to link your brain to pain. Associate massive pain to a disempowering belief. You've got to believe at the deepest core that that belief is costing your past, is going to cost you in your present, and it will continue to cost you in your future. Man, that is no way to live. That's called the Charles Dickens process. And knowing what you don't want, well, that's important. But knowing what you do want is just as important. Because once we rid ourselves of that disempowering belief, there's going to be a big void. And what you want to insert there is that tremendous pleasure of adopting a new idea, an empowering belief system. Because the truth is, at any moment, the decision that we make can and will change the course of our life forever. It could be the very next person that we talk to. Whether we're standing in line, whether we're sitting next to him in an airplane, it could be the phone call you take, the phone call you make, the next movie you see, the book you, 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 you read, the page you turn, the newsletter you subscribe to, any one of those things could be the things that opens up the floodgate. And then everything you've been waiting for will fall into place out there. Yes, folks, that is to me, that is, that's the essence of it all. So it is Wonderful Wednesday. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. At the present time, we've got the Dow slightly in the red. It's off 20 points, trading out at 16,702. S&P down one point, trading at 1923. NASDAQ up 80 cents, trading at 42,34. Russell 2000 off two points, trading at 1124. NDX 100 up two points. New York Stock Exchange down 20 
Goldilocks up uh, two bucks, trade at twelve forty six. Uh, silver up five cents, trade at eighteen eighty two. Light sweet crude up eighty seven cents, trade out at one oh three fifty three out here. Our call in numbers eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'll try to make this as entertaining as I can. Another one of these kind of flattish sideways markets out here. You know, maybe we have that going on for the uh, next uh, day or so, maybe until the Fed releases its beige book. When is that? Maybe this afternoon or something, or who knows out there. In any event, what we do have is a sideways, little choppy market, and they're a little bit hard to navigate, so where do we go? Well, as I said, the uh, there are bulls that say at 1916 inside the ES Mini, I want to buy this thing. I want to add to positions. Why do I say that? Because the last uh, couple of days down in those levels, that's where we've seen buying take place. We saw a nice bullish engulfing candle. That uh, formed at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's on the S&P futures. That was yesterday. This is a two-hour chart that we're looking at. And in the two-hour chart, that uh, the two-hour time frame that just completed as we were going off the air for the Trader's Edge at 10 a.m., there was a hammer candle that did form inside of the ES Mini. And, of course, that price low was at the 1916 area. That is the area of value for the bulls. Important for us to pay attention to because a break of that area, you will see the S&P futures travel down about nine points, probably do it relatively quick because this is a defensible line by the bulls. The defensible line by the Bears, well, it's up at the highs. It's up in that 1924-ish type range out here, and they close above that, and the Bulls will have broken the backs of the Bears. It is as simple as that, and then you can take nine points, add it to the 1924, and that would be your minimum expectation. That would be your consolidated move out there. Until then, it's nothing more than a uh, boring sideways market out there so we're going to try to make this thing anything but boring let's go give you the information that we can as we take a look at what's going on inside of the uh, markets let's go take a look at the uh, let's do a couple of different things let's uh, let's first go over here let's take a look at our uh, taz market profile system and let's go take a look at the uh, let's go take a look at the uh, ETFs for the indexes. Let's take a look at them. I'm just going to try to find them here. They've got to be somewhere. Where, where, where did I put them? There we go. Let's go take a look at those. Let's look for resistance and support lines. Let's start off by taking a look at the SPY. Basically flat as we speak right now. It's off four pennies, trading at a 192.76. So let's go find resistance. Let's go find support inside of the uh, SPY. Let's take a look at the daily. Daily chart here says that the SPYs, in order to get into full-blown bullish, because it formed a, a new market profile uh, over the course of the last uh, two trading sessions, says 192.99. That's the number to be paying attention to. You get above 192.99. The green light is uh, not that it's actually in a bearish camp or anything like that, but then you've got a nice little green light. So that's your support area, 192.99. Likewise, I sorry, did I say support? I did. Somebody reach through your monitor and grab my neck every now and then when you know I'm supposed to say something and I'm multitasking and I use the wrong word out there. It's got to confuse the heck out of you. And when I do that, I apologize. But at least you know exactly what I was trying to say. 192.99 is resistance, a close above resistance that then becomes support. And that says, in this case here, that's your green light special for a move higher. You might say, well, move higher to where, Steve-O? And that's an excellent question. Well, let's take a look at the, you know, there's 1A to be equal C to the upside, the 1 to 1.272 area. That would take you to 193.97. So that's one spot you'd look at. There's another A to B equal CD pattern that we can draw in here. Let's go take a look at that. We'll use the C point now, the April 28th area. We'll use that as our B, we, as our A. The B point will use the high from May 13th. The, you see the retracement down into May 15th. 1 to 1.272, well, that takes you to 193.43 out there. So breaking 192.99 does not get your skirt in a, a tizzy up here because it's probably got some resistance at 193.43, 193.97 as it's a range out there. That is on the SPY. That is on the daily chart. Let's go take a look at the uh, weekly chart. Hey, the weekly chart says nothing but bull out here. And I mean that in a positive way because it is up above its resistance box, its longer-term market profile, which is 187.49, uh, up above that uh, level. Now, it's up above there, um, you know, but it's doing it with uh, a version of less relative strength. Uh, it is a uh, it is a, a Taz uh, analyzer out here, um, but that look it's bullish period. 
I don't care how you look at it. That's with the weekly chart. The uh, 240-minute time frame here for the uh, SPY. What does that show us here? Let me just kind of squeeze this together a little bit, make it a little bit easier. This says uh, resistance 193.02. That's an important area, right? Just like 192.07 actually is your support area. Close below 192.07, and that would be the uh, first chink in the armor. Otherwise... We're just simply in a nice little, and I don't know how nice it is, you might get tired, uh, nothing more than a, a consolidation mode. That's inside the SPY. That's three time frames. Let's go take a look at the IWM. Let's go see what it is uh, doing on its chart. Let's take a look at the same time frames out here. Let's look at the uh, daily time frame. Daily time frame inside the Russell 2000 sending a much different signal than the uh, SPY because the uh, Russell 2000 is below the unfair low. It's below the support area which is at a price point of about now is it below it by a ton no but it's below it one one twelve twenty one is the number it's trade at one twelve oh five right now so if it closes below one twelve today closed below it yesterday that's short term bearish in so one twelve twenty one by the way that's the number again on its daily chart that is most certainly short term bearish what would be your expectation well your expectation is a retracement right if we take a look at that retracement Oh, I forgot. Why is it? Why is it not showing up on this chart here? That is so weird. Oh, I've got maybe the tool I can use over here. That's all. There we go. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. So let's take a look at retracements. I hey, never give up, right? Never give up. So if we take a look at uh, the retracement areas inside of the IWM, you can see that price has also pulled back and has found a little bit of support at the point three eight two retracement. What am I using? I'm using the 107.44 level. That's from May 15th. That's the low. As the high, I'm using 113.84, and that's the high from May 27th. So the uh, dead cap bounce, point three eight two retracement, 111.40. You're trading at uh, 111.99 right now. We can see it hit that intraday. If it closes back below, if it stays below the unfair, low the support level of the uh, market profile really brings into play the 0.68 retracement 109.88 is the uh, number and really uh, you know that would be a normal move it would absolutely be a normal move inside of any market and that could be setting up the a to b equals cd to the upside you might say and we'll take things one 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 moment at a time but you might say well what would that look like well your a point would be down here that's on may 15th your b point would be up here that would be on May 27th. Oh, I don't know if this is going to do this for me. Oh, it's not. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Okay, well, I can't do that, so uh, sorry about that. I can do it on a, a different system, so I will do it for you on a, a different system. Let's go switch over into the IWM. Uh, when I had that tool built for me, I uh, should have had it. It was just anchored to... Uh, just anchored to uh, to uh, swing points, and obviously that doesn't work when the swing point hasn't formed. So the one to one A to B equals CD. If it's just simply a nice pullback to the point six one eight area, would take you into about the one sixteen twenty ish range out there. Going into our first break here, let's go see where the uh, markets are at right now as we speak. We've got the uh, Dow off twenty seven, S and P down one, composite up three, Russell two thousand. Virtually unchanged. We'll be right back, folks. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. 
This Red Lake Greenlight Market Profile System dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Hecht has just announced a live 90-minute webinar that he'll be hosting Saturday, June 7th from 9.30 till 11 a.m. Eastern Time entitled Energy Opportunities During the Summer of 2014. With the frigid winter having depleted some key energy stockpiles, Russian political tensions high, and the storm season for the Gulf setting up to reverberate through energy markets worldwide, opportunities could present themselves over the summer months that could provide huge payoffs. When you sign up, you'll gain immediate access to a seven-page report Andy has put together as an introduction to what he'll be covering so you can start preparing and get a feel for what Andy will be discussing live during the workshop on Saturday, June 7th. Andy will be advising his attendees of at least one trading recommendation in each area, including crude oil, natural gas, coal, and refining spreads and oil products. The best part is that this live 90-minute webinar is only $99. Don't wait. Sign up today and reserve your spot while gaining instant access to Andy's seven-page report right now. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, still not a, a ton of movement in the uh, market here. Dow's off 40 points, a uh, quarter of a percent, not a big deal. S&P is down uh, two. Uh, Russell is off uh, 85 cents. The uh, composite is up a dollar. Now, we were uh, taking a look at the ETF, the index ETF, so we'll go back there in a moment. Uh, you know, Apple's been on a, has had a nice move out here. If we take a look at the uh, daily market profile system for Apple, we're going to see that it's traveling right into its uh, resistance zone, its so-called unfair high. Now, six 639.96, that's called 640 even. Steven out there makes it a whole lot easier. That is resistance, and it's trading right now at 640.15. So it would be very bullish for Apple to close above that uh, level. Uh, that is the daily chart. So 640 on the daily chart. Let's look at the weekly chart. See what uh, levels uh, pop out on uh, this uh, screen out here. And on the uh, weekly chart, boy, weekly chart is in uh, full-blown bullish uh, mode out here looks like i was messing around with some tools on this uh, stock chart let me get rid of those tools if i can there we go okay let's take a look at the uh, a to b equals cd on the weekly chart that we have inside of apple the uh, a point is uh, all the way back down here to uh, june 24th 2013 the b point uh, looks like uh, right out here on december 2nd 2013 and the uh, c point is the low from january 27th 493.55 the the weekly uh uh, B point had volume of uh, 74 million shares uh, when price got above it. Six uh, 67. Hold on, let me see. 318. 
0.83, yeah, 67 million shares. So it passed that uh, B point on lighter volume. Uh, nonetheless, it is uh, that completion of the weekly A to B equals CD to the upside gives you a price projection of 679.82. 679.82. Where's that going to take you? All the way back to its highs, basically. The highs back from uh, September of 2012. That was up at the uh, 705 type area. So uh, not a confirmed data B equals CD to the upside, but uh, price action suggests that it wants to move up to that uh, level. And a confirmation of that uh, will be, not a confirmation, but uh, another confirmation, another confirming area will be, in fact, for Apple on its daily chart to get above that unfair high. Again, that was at $640, even, Stephen, right now where it is trading into. Okay, let's go back. We were looking at the uh, Russell 2000. We were looking at the uh, daily chart, as I recall. If we look at the uh, weekly chart out here, weekly chart is uh, priced right now at the 111.77 area. It's, that's what's referred to as its point of control, its area of largest congestion out here. So it's kind of uh, you know neutral-ish on its weekly chart. Level of support, 108. 54. That's a, a decent move uh, down inside of the markets, and then if it closes below 108.54, that would become very bearish, bearish enough to draw in an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, volume-wise, don't know if it'll crack it with volume, but your A point is the high from March 3rd, 2014. Your B point now would be the low from May 12th, and your C point was last week. It did a about a 48 percent retracement out there, 113.84, one to one. A to B equals CD would take it to the 100.70-ish uh, area out there. We're not there yet. A uh, crack of 108.54, close below 108.54 is what would bring that into play. And that was on the uh, Russell 2000 on the IWM. Before I take a look at intraday, what's going on? If we use a 240-minute uh, uh, time frame out here, what you're going to see is a uh, price this morning in the, uh, well, let me get the <coughs> cursor out here, excuse me. I do not like coughing, and I most certainly do not like coughing into my microphone out here. Uh, there we go. We got it visible. Okay, we're good. Uh, what we can see here is at 111.31, which we've hit here so far this morning. That's on a shorter term. That's on a four-hour chart out there. And uh, that's the area of uh, support. So close below that, 111.31, probably sets off a, a cascade to the downside. Let's see if there's any small E to B equals CD patterns out here inside of the IWM. Mm, maybe. You know, if I were going to draw one, it would look like this. I would take as my uh, swing high, 4, four o'clock in the afternoon, May 28th. But it would be my A point, my B point, 8 a.m. on uh, June the uh, 3rd out here. Uh, that's a, a low. It looks like I've got this turned on for uh, including after hours uh, trades as well. The one-to-one -one would take you down to about 109.60. I'd have to say more likely 108.86 or 1-1.272. To but first, it needs to uh, crack the uh, support level, which is 111.31 inside of the 240-minute time frame uh, chart out there. That was for the IWM. Let's go take a look at the, uh, we did the SPY that. Let's go look at strength out there. The Qs are unchanged as we speak right now. Let's look at the uh, Qs. Oh, apparently I was so long-winded. We didn't get a chance to do that. Let's do that when we come back from this break. Let's go take a look at strength and see what strength is doing on its daily time frame. Looks like 91.45 is its pole vaulting area of resistance. We'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex box spreads. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 34. S&P is down uh, 2. I, uh, I watched that uh, movie Lone Survivor last night. I don't know if any of you have uh, seen that movie. You know, I, I, I enjoy watching, um, I enjoy watching uh, true stories. Now, I, I had only read a little bit about that incident out there, kind of timely, that I watched it last night after the events of this uh, past weekend out here with the uh, release of the uh, hostages and, uh, and everything that, uh, that, not hostages, but the, uh, I don't know where that, where that came from. But the uh, release of the uh, Taliban guys out there. Anyways, it's a it's a great movie, you know, a little bit of uh, blood and you know guts and shoot them up. But a true story. You don't talk about folks that are heroes. It really puts things in perspective. Uh, you know, I mean, if you don't have an appreciation for the folks that, that provide us with all the freedoms that we just simply take for granted out there, you know, go 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 watch that movie, which was a whole lot better than watching, you know, what was actually unfolding inside the real life story of the uh, news that's going on right now. In any event, uh, uh, you know, that'll make this a political show, that's for sure. Uh, the only politics is take a look at what the bulls and bears are doing out there, but that is a, it's a good movie. I'd, I recommend seeing that. Uh, I think it's good for everybody to actually see out there. 
So let's go back and take a look at the uh, at the cues. We were looking at the cues out here. I think I was just getting to it. Uh, we identify here uh, inside the uh, QQQ its area of resistance, its hurdle that it needs to overcome, which is a price level of 91.45. If you can get above that, then uh, it'll be giving you a nice message of uh, continued uh, moves higher. Now this is on the daily chart we're looking at, and we can see here in the cues what they've done. They've made that 100% move of a move. They've come all the way back to the swing high from March of 2000 and uh, seven out there. Bearish side of the queues would be a uh, close below 90.39. So 90.39 should be pretty good support. A close below that, and that says, all right, uh, now I might move down back to about the 88-ish range. If we take a look at the uh, weekly chart here, weekly chart for the uh, QQQ, it shows that it's got some pretty decent support at $90.55. That's its unfair high, which it is trading above. It got above that last week. Dipping below that would not be a good sign. Testing it, 90.55 and holding that, that's fine. But dipping back below it would not be a, a great sign out there. That is on the uh, QQQ uh, in its uh, profiles and anything else that it's got going on in its chart. Let's look at the, so we looked at the SPY, the IW. Let's uh, finish this off. Let's look at the uh, Diamonds. Let's go take a look at the Dow Diamonds. Let's look at them on a, a daily uh, time frame as well. Daily time frame here shows that the uh, resistance area is at 167.12. Uh, right now, so far, this morning has traded down into its point of control, its little congestion area. That happens to be the price level, 166.56. So far, we've seen a low today of 166.58. Close gets below that. It ought to go test the uh, support area, 165.72. A close below that is bearish. A close above, 167.12, would be bullish. So right now, just uh, traveling uh, sideways here, uh, perhaps waiting for some a juggernaut of some sort to go ahead and break these markets one way or the other. Weekly chart for the Dow Diamonds. Dow has been getting a pretty bad rap here lately. However, it's up above its resistance area of its uh, day, uh, day weekly profile system out here. That's priced at 165.51. So staying above 165.51 would be uh, bullish. Uh, getting back and dipping below that would, in essence, be a failure to break out. So that covers the ETFs on the daily and weekly charts, the Qs, the Diamonds, the Spies, and the um, and the Russell 2000, the IWM. As long as we're doing that, let's take a look at a couple of sectors with inside the S&P. Let's go look at the utility sector, the XLU. Often overlooked, but uh, no reason to overlook it. If we take a look at its daily time frame here, uh, the XLU is in a, a nice bullish mode. Got into this uh, level on its daily chart out here back on May 29th. Uh, so we don't see any resistance here. I don't see a uh, pattern other than just a retracement. Let's go take a look at that retracement. Uh, give me a moment here. We're going to use as our retracement, we're going to use the high from May 1st down to the uh, low that came in on May 20th. And uh, that is uh, at a price level of 41.23. So it's made a, a nice straight line move up to about the 0.786 retracement level, which is 43.03. It hasn't exactly hit that. Yesterday it got to a high of 40. 297. That's uh, good enough for work in my book out here. So it's made the 0.786 retracement. A break above that would be a nice move. That would be bullish. Uh, of course, is the daily chart. It's already in a bullish mode out here. No reversal signal or anything along those lines. Uh, yesterday was moving up with 8 million shares. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my 8 million shares versus a downdraft of 15 million shares. So supply line issues inside of the uh, utility sector. That is the XLU. That was the daily chart. Let's look at the weekly chart. Our weekly chart says 43.17 happens to be a significant resistance area. So getting above that would be very, very bullish for the utility sector. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the energy sector. I believe we started looking at it yesterday by looking at uh, Chevron, by looking at uh, Exxon Mobil out here, and this was a, a strong, as I recall, the chart. Those stocks were weak, but the XLE was pretty strong. And then we did a uh, little uh, market analyzer. I took a look at the top ten holdings, and only three of those top ten holdings were uh, really in any kind of uh, trend trouble out there. Uh, if we do take a look at the XLE uh, daily chart there, uh, bullish mode by being above its uh, unfair high, its resistance level 94.83. It's traveling at 95.44 right now. Let's go see, are there any ABCD patterns out here? Well, there most certainly could be. Let's see. Let's use as our A point out here. Let's use the low 
back here on uh, April the 11th. Let's use as our B point the high from uh, May 7th, and the uh, C point looks like down here on May 15th. Now the B point, let's take a look at volume out there. It had volume of... Uh, 906 9.6 million shares and that was passed with 7 million shares 5 million shares that's what that's what we might have been looking at yesterday it was passed with lighter volume out there so no confirmed data b equals cd to the upside yet alone on the daily chart it is up above any kind of resistance area let's see what the weekly chart if there's some yeah and it's on the weekly chart right now for this week here which is not over it is up above resistance resistance on the weekly chart for the energy sector 9525 so closing back below that area would not be a bullish sign but closing above 9525 in fact would be a lot of time left in the uh, trading week out here let's take a look at some stocks that are uh, popping in a uh, drop in here this morning Let's go check in on some of those, see what they're doing here. Also, get something that we did not look at during the uh, first hour. Uh, we did not look at what the heck, third financial TF. What's going on here? Has leaped to a new high on merger news. So, what's the merger news here? Uh, uh, National Pen Bank shares is going to looks like they're going to buy them out. Um, looks like probably right around the forty one eighty five ish level so that's a nice uh, 28 uh, percent uh, pop out here this morning let's take a look at walgreens let's go wag the dog wag is the uh, ticker symbol out here uh walgreens right now trading out at 73.57 on a daily uh, chart here it is up above a resistance level of its market profile 70.63 let's take a look at the a to b equals cd pattern inside of wag inside of walgreens your a point is going to be down here at the lows on february 5th your b point is going to be the high of February 28th, and your C point is going to be the low on April the 11th. 62.80 is your C point. About a short of a 50% retracement out there. 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Gives us a price projection of 77.37. The B point out there had 5.5 million shares. It was passed out here with. 4 million, 4, 6, so it's been passed with lighter volume. Nonetheless, we still have a number of A to B equals CD. Patterns to the upside. Uh, this thing is making its uh, move. It's getting into the overbought condition out here, but still looking uh, fairly bullish on its uh, daily chart. Let's look at the oh, let's look at the weekly chart out here for Walgreens. Let's go see if there's any resistance that it is going to encounter out here. Weekly chart gives us a message of resistance at about the uh, no. 69 ish 6973 looks like that is it's uh 6984 is its resistance area so uh, Walgreens nice long and strong out there WAG being the ticker symbol let's look at uh Let's see here. What do we have down? How about uh, Cyberonix? CYBX is a ticker symbol. That's trading off about 6.5%, down 4 bucks uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, looks like it's got some uh, decent volume behind its move. So this is uh, breaking below a unfair low a support level, which is 59.34. You're trading at 55.79 as we uh, speak out here. Now, no real A to B equals CD to the downside. Let's go look at the weekly chart. See if it, too, is uh, below a uh, level. Oh, that is the weekly chart. My apologies. So the weekly chart is below its uh, support level, which was 59.34. Let's go see. So I imagine it's going to be below its daily uh, market profiles as well. Yeah, most certainly is. Now now there is the potential of several A to B equals CD patterns. But let's go see. looks like with volume, the B point is April 28th. 179,000 shares, and today it's done, oh, 383. So the large A to B equals CD to the downside on this thing. A large one looks like this. large one looks pretty bad. A point would be your swing point from February 19th. That's your A. That's uh, come back and give you those prices. Your B down here, uh, the swing from uh, May 20, April 28th, and then your C was uh, out here on the trading session of May 28th out there. So 0 0.382 retracement. Uh, my system here shows uh, 37.38. I'm not rounding or anything, just giving you the exact number. So this looks like it's headed for about the 4907 level. That's just your one-to-one. -one. You'd have to say this should bring into play the 1909-ish area. I'm going to switch back to a weekly chart. Again, the ticker symbol we're looking at is CYBX out here. Let's see if there's anything that sticks out 
on the uh, weekly chart out here, um, volume-wise. Yeah, you got a big volume downdraft area right at a price point, the low of which is uh, 42 bucks, and the high is 49.80. It's trading at 55.85, so it looks like that is the area where it is targeted at. That is uh, Cyberonics Inc. Um, let's take a look. Let me see if I can find something popping to the upside uh, that we have not taken a look at. Let's go take a look at Sun Power, SPWR. That's up a nice 7% here this morning, uh, trading out at 34.31 uh, on its uh, weekly chart out here. Sun Power trying to get above a, a resistance area, which would be very bullish. That is a price level of... Uh, 34.79. So if it can do that, that's above a resistance. It's a market profile unfair high, and depending on the volume as it approaches that area, could in fact set up an A to B equal CD on the short term. I were the shorter version, I would use the uh, volume from May 5th, which is one 12, 12 million shares. So far this week, it's done uh, only five million shares, but that's not too bad. We're only uh, we're not even halfway through the week out there, so it is taking on a swing point. Uh, with uh, looks like with accelerated volume as we speak right now. Daily chart, this will probably show us what's going on volume-wise today, see if it's picking up to the upside. Daily chart is uh, just getting into bullish mode out here, getting above a resistance level, which is 33.81. It's trading out at 34.33 right now. Let's draw in that A to B equals CD pattern. Your A point would be down on April 15th low. Your B point would be up at the high on May 6th, and your C point would be down at the low on the trading session, $30.80, and that is on May 20th. It needs to cross the B point. You'd like to see it do it with volume. That would mean more than 3 million shares out there coming into that swing point, trading into that swing point as we speak here right now with volume of uh, 2.3 million shares. So it's attacking a swing point with volume. What does that mean? means good things. It means it's going to at least go test the high of 35.90, and if it can take that out, then what it says is going to move up to about the 41.32 area, uh, maybe even as high as 44.19. That is on uh, Sun, what is that, Sun Power, Sun, uh, Sun Power Corp, SPWR is the uh, ticker symbol out there. Let's take a look at Rent Track. R E N T is a ticker symbol. That's uh, down about 4.5% here this morning. Uh, weekly, uh, daily chart. Okay, so it's taking on a, a swing point here. The swing point is from the uh, trading session of April 14th. Let's go look at the uh, volume on that. It is down at about the uh, 233,000 shares. Uh, yesterday was down there with 291, so you're accelerating volume into a swing. This morning, 155. This is trying to uh, set up an A to B equals CD to the downside. The A point on this is the uh, swing. Swing. The uh, swing. Let's see, 69 bucks even, Stephen. Yeah. So we're going to use a $69 even, Stephen, on February 21st. We're going to use as the B point the low on April 14th. That's at a price level of 45.86 out there. And then it makes a retracement move up into a high back here. Looks like on May the 12th, one to one, A to B equals C D. Price projection of uh, thirty-six dollars and ninety-seven cents out there. That looks like that makes sense. Looks like that brings us back into the uh, breakout area, an original breakout area, which was nice big volume. Looks like uh, that's where rent is headed back to. That breakout area took place on January 16th out there. The low of that session was 39.27. The one to one A to B equals CD is 30. No, I'm sorry. No, the low of that was yeah 39.27. I can read. But the breakout was really the prior session. That low was at the 36.42, and at 36.97 is a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. Sure looks like that's where rent would like to uh, head to. Right now, we've got the Dow off 31, S&P down 1. We'll be right back, folks. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely 
completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, just before we came on to that uh, break there, the uh, S&P was completely unchanged, uh, zero, zero. Uh, so it is a, a kind of a flattish uh, market out there, kind of hard to uh, entertain you, do the best that we can out here. But the markets are just simply moving sideways, not doing a whole lot. Russell 2000 is up uh, 90 cents. Composite is up uh, 7 bucks out there. The uh, Dow is off 18 uh, right now. If we switch over and just kind of let's uh, take a little perspective, uh, what's going on inside the uh, charts here on a monthly uh, basis. I've got the S&P 500 right now. You can see one heck of a nice rising price channel coming off of the uh, March 2009 lows. Now, what the uh, what typically happens when the uh, market does turn here, now this is not about selling the uh, top tick or anything along those lines. You would use other patterns for that. But uh, what has uh, has transpired in the past, meaning the tops in 2000, the tops in 2007, with inside the S&P 500 on a monthly chart, it's put in a, a price relative strength divergent pattern, meaning that price has gone ahead and it has moved up higher on less relative strength out there. And that never is a, a good thing in the uh, marketplace. Now, of course, 
it has time to resolve itself. As we speak right now, the highest level of that 14-period relative strength indicator took place the month of uh, December 2013. That was at uh, Big Santa Claus Rally. That was the Ben Bernanke going away party that had uh, taken place out there. And since that time frame, we've seen the market try to sell off a couple of times. When that occurs, uh, intercession, if you will, intraday, because it was done on a daily uh, chart, if you will. It was on, well, on the monthly chart, but of course, uh, the monthly chart, you're really looking at what's going on when that actual candle signal completes. Um, and then what that did was that worked off some of that over bought condition on the uh, monthly chart overbought when you're above the uh, 70-ish level 69 70 or so level you start to get into an overbought condition so we've seen a uh, push higher um, but we have not seen any kind of bearish reversal signal only once have we seen that and that actually didn't even qualify in my price relative strength divergent pattern it can't occur the very following month out here and that's what took place the month of uh, january 2014 so as we look at the s&p 500 it has a, a price projection of about 2350 that is another 425 points to the upside. I would look to me like at this stage the market wants to eventually do that. Um, what's the timing on it? That I can't tell you. But what I can tell you on the S&P 500, other than having a potential pattern, that's all that it's got. And it looks as bullish as you possibly can get. Inside of the uh, Dow as well. Guess what? The uh, Dow out here, it's making higher highs. It's doing that on less relative strength as well. Nonetheless, it is up above its resistance because there was a big old uh, bearish engulfing uh, candle the month of uh, January out there. Price is above that. Nothing bearish looking here on the monthly chart for the Dow as we speak right now, June the 4th. If we look at the NASDAQ composite, this is uh, this is kind of the interesting chart here, the monthly chart, and that is that it cycles every oh, what is it every 23 months, I believe, is the uh, number out here, and its uh, last cycle is supposed to have occurred in April, and April 30th we saw the market move lower, and these uh, cycles here, these are going back to 2000. These cycles work really well. Doesn't tell you whether it's going to be a cycle high or a cycle low. But I tell you, if the April highs get taken out, which in the composite is 42.86, right now you're at 42.43, man, one will have to just simply uh, suggest that it is a market low that was put in during that cycle that ended in April. Well, folks, my time is up with you, but we got our man Basil Chapman. He's got his surfboard out. It's all waxed and ready to go. Unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot of waves to uh, ride out here, but he'll go find them for you. And then after Basil, we got Larry Pesavento, Daryl Martin, David White, the Tom O'Brien Show from 4 to 6. Have a great Wednesday, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. Take care now. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.